what's up guys welcome back to another trip to the thrift if you guys are enjoying the videos hit that like button and let me know helps the channel grow drop a comment and subscribe if you guys are not already i'm on my way to the thrift store right now so hopefully we'll find some good stuff this week so let's go see what we can find found a pair of air max pluses in the sunset colorway i remember these used to be big money but i don't think they are anymore since the other the og pairs came out they want 15 dollars on those definitely need a clean up found this set it off van tee midnight i don't know never heard of them xl for 3.99 and then i also found the nba authentics shorts tall 9.99 cleveland cavaliers i've been finding a lot of these nba authentic shorts lately i find so many of these mario kart like without the remote controls it's cool to see a atv one though but what i am grabbing is the power rangers megazord a little piece of it got a goofy face all right so i found this 1998 mana t right it's on the resurrection tag on the back you got like all the tour cities dates and then tour 98 on the bottom but i'm not gonna lie when i picked it up I thought it said $3, but it's $30. But I'm pretty sure that's still a decent deal on this one. When I first picked it up, I thought it was like a little bootlegs because of the way it looks, but it's on the right tag and everything. And then all the other ones I saw too all look like this. So not too bad, I guess. And then these two I'm picking up for personal wear. The Breaking the Habit Lincoln Park tee and the Hybrid Theory tee. Big Lincoln Park fan, so definitely going to be uh, getting some wear out of these. Uh, and they're $3 each. They got this uh, older Nike duffel bag in like an olive green and black, but they want $15 for it. You do have the older Nike tag on it. They got a PS4, but for 70 bucks, not tested. I think I'm going to pass. All right, guys, I'm like on my way to the next door. So <laughs> I posted that Mana shirt, right? on uh my instagram my ig so go follow me if you guys aren't following me on there and i've never had so many people blow up my inbox over something <laughs> i've probably posted that maybe 30 minutes ago 30 40 minutes ago but anyway let's get to the next door and see what we can find we got the usos one and done we the ones tee for 4.99 i guess someone got sad that they left the bloodline and donated their shirt we the ones on the back here's a pair of sparadons i haven't seen a pair of these in a minute i remember i really wanted the stash pair whenever they came out on 30 bucks for these we got the Arsenal jersey in like this pink and blue colorway, size XL. I guess it's like a recycled one, 2020, 2022 tag. No player on the back, but they want $20 for it. So I'm not 100% on that one. And then I found two uh, Ducati shirts. The Ducati Dallas, Texas one for $2.59. And then the Uniqlo. This one is only $1.59. I always dig around in the plushes hoping to find Pokemon. And I found one, a Cinequil for $1.99. Here's the vintage Levi's trucker jacket, size 44, made in the USA. They do want 20 bucks for it. I think that's an okay deal. Like, I might sit on it for a couple months until it starts getting colder again. I found this Epcot World Showcase, like, jersey shirt. $3.99 size 2X. I'm not gonna lie, I thought it would have been worth a little more, but there's people trying to sell this thing for, like, 8 bucks, and they can't. <laughs> found two hats. Kennesaw Ducks Unlimited hat. I've always just liked the designs on these ones. That one's $3.99. Carl Black GMC truck. On and then brand new with tags, we got the Nike ACG hat from 2002. And then here's this Quantum Buzz Away. I guess it's, like, an insect repellent. They want five bucks for that one this phoenix mercury jersey fanatic size medium number 10 it's nancy lieberman and it's actually autographed i think and they want 5.99 for that one oh and it's actually half off so it's only three dollars so definitely scooping that one it's been a while since i found a decent pair of shoes in this store but i just walked up on some playoff eights for twenty dollars they are a wombo size 13 actually and still in decent shape but aren't they about to like re-release these soon if i remember correctly not quite the mono shirt I found yesterday, but <laughs> found another one for $2.99. I know these are not the most desirable in design, but brand new with tags. Unfortunately, the Patriots one's 13. This one's six. Also found this Marines tee on the vintage, like the 90s gilding tag. You got the big plain graphic on the back. a and M T tee on the Toltex, but they want $4.99 for this one. On the back, you got the zone, Kyle Field. So they have this Polo Sport Windbreaker in like this olive green for $8.99 size XL. This is very boring. The only thing on it is the Polo Sport spelt out on the bottom. We got the I Feel Like Kobe tee. Remember when like everybody was using this design for their merch and stuff? Remember that era of uh, YouTube sneaker content where everybody had this shirt? The classic FBI female body inspector tee. <laughs> Elementary jokes at its finest. So I'm back at the store where I found those two new tagged hats yesterday, those logo athletic ones. And today I found the Sports Specialties Pro Line uh, New York Jets snapback. That one's 13 bucks, but again, it's brand new. We got Spyro and Budokai 2 on the PS2. 
I just wish that they had the cases at least for five bucks a piece. Nice. Found a pair of on cloud monsters. I never find these. I always find the other ones with like the thinner bottoms. But um, yeah, if you guys ever find these, pick them up. They're actually worth a decent amount. Found these plushes right here. Transformer Build-A-Bears, which I thought were kind of cool, but they're not really worth nothing. They want $4 a piece. I also found this Snorlax, which I was hoping was a Build-A-Bear, but unfortunately it's not. It's like one of the ones they sell at Target. But for five bucks, I'm gonna take it. It's a little dirty, but I think I can clean it up. Found these two Marlin sports shirts. I don't know how well they're gonna do, but they're only $1.99 each. And they're brand new, so why not, right? I found more of these Marwin Motorsports. These ones are $4.99. They're all brand new with tags. It seems like they go for about like 30 bucks. So I don't know, I might take them. These are the other two that I found already, but I found four more. I'm gonna check out what I found for $3.99. The Woody Woodpecker on the old Universal tag, and that like green and yellow. Found a couple more race shirts. This is definitely my favorite one out of all the ones I found. The AMG Motorsport for $2.59. So for whatever reason, this one's cheaper on the cheaper side. And you got like the sponsors on the back. I found a Fox and HRA staff. That one's five bucks. And then this Team Track service that's racing electronics one. You got two of the goats. Anderson the Spider Silva, $6.99 size XL. We got the GSP size XL. And that one's actually brand new with tags. I don't know why, but today the thrift store is like really dead which is actually uh, kind of peaceful because <laughs> I feel like I can just take my time and I'm not in no rush. It feels like the old days again. Well, going from one store where I filled up my cart, coming to this store where I didn't find not one thing, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. They have all these college headphones, right? That I thought were kind of weird. And then I came around and they also have remote controls, which is odd, yeah, kind of a weird item. Two tees I found. The Pro Player Carolina Panthers, 1997. And this Majora's Mask T for $2.99. Kind of gives off like a bootleg, but it's official Nintendo. We got a couple hats. We got the Camel Strap Back for $1.99. The Adidas NBA Champion 2011 Mavs hat. These used to be good money, not really so much anymore. And a really basic Dallas Cowboys Logo 7 hat. I found some cream Yeezys in a size 6. I think they're legit for 17 bucks, but I have a pair in my size that I can't get rid of. So, probably gonna pass on them. They're pretty beat up anyway. I guess it was a jersey stop at this store. Puma one for 10 bucks. The Adidas Munich for $10 as well. We got the Tar Heels football Nike jersey. And then the long sleeve Munich jersey, a medium.